Hi everyone, it's Cam from Modern Day Biker with Pampered Chef. I'm just coming on and I wanted to do a video because um, I'm going to make supper. But I want to show you a bunch of things that I love. And I want to say thank you for joining the party. Um, we're going to have a great time this week. Um, but I wanted to come on and just kind of show you some things that I have in my kitchen. And some fun things um, that I think you guys all would love. So um, I'm just going to go through and kind of give you a demo of a few things. So I do have burger in my pan right now. Um, that's just warming up there. Um, so while that's warming, because I need it to start frying before I can show you the mix and chop. So we'll move that one over. But I want to show you a couple things. So this is new. This is this spring's new item. And this is your egg separator. So you would set that on a bowl. You would crack the egg over that. And the egg white would drain into the uh, bowl below. And you would have the um, yolk in the, the strainer. So that's new. Um, I would, wasn't using any eggs today, so I didn't want to waste one to show you, but that's what that is. So that's great. Um, I do have my avocado tool next. So the avocado tool is amazing. Um, so you can see this has little sharp points in it. So you, what you do is you would cut your avocado with that end, you would cut it around, and then you would separate it, and then you would take this and you would tap it onto the stone and twist it a little bit and pull the stone out. So I use this quite often when I'm making guacamole. And if you're making guacamole, we have guacamole mix, and the Gloria loves the guacamole mix. It's something that she buys from me all the time. So you can definitely message her and see how great the guacamole mix is, but that's right there. Really easy, you just add um, the mix straight to your avocado. You don't have to add anything else. I add lemon to mine, and because I like it just to have a little bit more um, a lemon flavor. Next, we have the measuring spoons. Um, so these are pretty awesome because you can just measure out. One spoon does all the tablespoon measurements. So if I push this up, you can see it has all the different measurements. That would measure up. That's great. And then this one's for teaspoons. So again, if I just push it up, you can see all the different sides. So you just set it to whatever you need. So I use those very often. My next item that I love is the meat tenderizer. So it has a flat bottom. I usually use this side because I pound on my chicken breast to make them even. You can uh, screw the little part out and flip it over. And then you have the meat tenderer side on the on the other side. So it just flips back and forth. So it is a little bit heavy, so it does have quite a bit of weight. So it really helps you pound out whatever you're using. I also love the, the sauce whisk. So this sauce whisk, I'm just going to show you in this pan. Um, it sits flat, so easy to whisk up sauces and it's not going to splash everywhere. Um, I use this for like if I'm making Alfredo sauce or whatever in a pan. Really easy to mix with. So again, the sauce whisk is a must-have item. So since we are over here, this is the new 8-inch um, stainless steel pan. And I wanted to show you the little parts in here because this is actually, you can use metal utensils in it. So let me grab something. Let's say I'm using the back of this thing. Normally, I would not do that on a non pan. It would scratch it. It won't scratch it. So that's pretty amazing. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. The one thing with these is you do have to cook, like if you're frying eggs or something, and you can't fry them on high heat, you're going to fry it on a little bit lower heat because it will stick. Um, but you just need to cook the egg and then it will release. So a little bit lower heat with these pans. Um, but amazing. I have all three. There's uh, the 8 inch, the 10 inch, and the 12 inch. So that's those. They also come with lids. So that's the Pamper Chef lid um, for this the 10 inch pan. Um, so let's just show you the ground beef. So my ground beef is just kind of getting ready. So this is the mixing chop. The mixing chop is one of Pamper Chef's best selling items. It is amazing because I'm like, how did I break up ground beef all those years without this? Um, I don't know. Like, where has it, has it been on my knife? Look how easy that is to break up your ground beef. So you're just going to go through, break it all up, and then you can stir with it after. But that's how easy to break it up. 
So this is something that I think everybody needs in their kitchen. The mix and chop is, like I said, our number one best selling item. They have a gold mix and chop in the Pamper Chef showroom. So <laughs> you can tell how many of those they sell. So yes, that's something everyone needs in their kitchen. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, I'm gonna leave that there and I should turn that off so I can finish because I wanna show you guys how some of the other things come. So, um, we did all those. Oh, um, ice cream scoop. What I love about this ice cream scoop is you can scoop hard ice cream right from the freezer. It cuts right through. You don't have to worry about like letting it defrost a little bit to get it out. Um, has a little bit of weight to it also. Um, great little thing. And I think it's only like 15 bucks. So cheap. This little, um, the, this is the teal, uh, serving server. Um, it's nylon. Um, and so won't stretch your pans or anything. Um, I think it comes in black also. Also a really um, inexpensive item, it's only $7. So yes, a couple, or maybe it might be $8, right? Um, some of those things are I love. Um, we also have the garlic infused oil, which I use all the time. The sweet basil infused oil is just new this season, so I love that one too. Um, I haven't opened the garlic Parmesan. I wanna actually use it for dipping bread. You can see all the Parmesan in the bottom. I just have to shake it up to, to use it. But yes, so those are our oils. They're all infused oils. And then of course we have the spritzer, which also I think everybody needs. So, oh, I see it's a little bit dirty. Sorry about that. Um, what, I'm gonna just show you how the demo of this. Um, let's see if I can get it onto the film here so you guys can see. Okay. So if you take the spritzer and you take the lid off, you just pump it and that creates the pressure. And then when you have enough pressure in it, you are just going to spray it. So let's see if I was using this pan, I'm just gonna spray right in there. So that just sprays right in there. Easy to use, you don't have all the chemicals that are associated with using the spray bottles. And then all you have to do is just let the air out of it. That just stops it from clogging. Um, I wipe the top off sometimes. And then this just goes back on and you have your oil. So. Again, another item that everybody should have in their home. Um, so yeah, those are a few things. Uh, we also have our pantry items. Let me just go into my pantry. Um, because there's some things in here. Sorry, I can't see. Right. The cookie dough, or uh, chocolate chip cookie mix is amazing. Now I normally wouldn't use a mix to make cookies, but my friend is gluten-free. And these ones are vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and made without nuts. So I was like, okay, well, I need to make your gluten-free cookies. We ate them right out of the freezer. They were so good. She loved them. I loved them. I bought two more bags of them. Yes, you need to have that. Um, also one that I love. I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Is the caramel latte bread. It is not gluten-free, so the breads aren't, aren't gluten-free, but um, this one is also quite amazing. My husband loves it. I love it. Yummy. And I, of course, also use the donut mix. I use the, so the donut mix I use, I use the, uh, I've made the brownies. I kind of made all the stuff, love them. Also, I wanted to show you that all the spices that we have, so all the Pepper Chef spices, so I have the Chipotle one, the ch uh, chili lime one, uh, Southern Carolina, I do love the Chipotle because I have a second one of that, um, everything bagel, salt and vinegar, I actually use that on my popcorn, or the French toast one is on my popcorn, it's like salt and sweet at the same time, amazing. Um, all those are uh, gluten free, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and so if people are worried about, um, being, having problems with gluten, that's definitely something. Now also new this season is the scampi mix. I made this the other day, loved it. Um, it has some wine in it, which maybe also was why I loved it, but I did love it. So yes, the scampi mix. And then we have the pan thai mix. Also love that. So these are kind of like easy things um, to have in your kitchen. So like I get home sometimes quite late from work. I'm driving 45 minutes home. 
Um, so I'm gonna make supper and I'm like, what am I gonna make? Um, all I have to do is throw this in with the meat and that makes my meat and make up the noodles and throw it all together and wow, things are amazing. So these things, um, there's also a chili mix. I think I don't have one right now, but those are go-to's. So great to have in your kitchen for those times that you just need, need something quick. Now, originally the spice rack, I was like, I don't think I would use the spice rack, but it is a Pampers Chef spice rack. And you can see that I can see all my spices. So that's pretty awesome. And then it has these nice little drawers so you can store other things. Oh, I do have something. Oh, Tuscan, um, Tuscan style herb chicken. Is the other one in there? Um, and then of course I have Jamie's, or Jesse's, uh, seasonings also. Um, but this spice rack is, I love it. I didn't think I'd love it, but I do love it. Um, just much easier to get through your spices because I, of course, don't have a pullouts in these cupboards. And so the spike rack makes it so much easier to see what I have in there. So thank you, everyone. I know it was a long video, but I wanted to show you a bunch of things. So I hope you are enjoying the party. Um, if you have any questions, message me. If you um, want to any information, message me and I will chat with all you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.